Now, reaching the summit of Ben Nevis, Scotland's highest mountain, is an achievement for anyone who takes on the 1,300-metre ascent. But it's a particular achievement for Paul Ellis from Widnes in Cheshire because Paul is a double amputee. And rather than high cup it, Paul crawled up. He battled through rocky terrain, mountain rivers and even snow to reach the top, all to raise money for children who've lost their limbs. And I'm really, really pleased to say that Paul joins us now in the studio. How are you feeling today? Oh, OK, thank you. Not yeah? too bad, thanks. Not too bad. So yeah. you, um, you've got your prosthetics on now, but you yeah. took them off. I did, yeah. And decided to crawl. Crying. Why decide to crawl? Just to raise, raise awareness for, for Ben's charter uh, and camp kids. And to, obviously to grab attention. That's why I took them off. And what's the name of the charity? Uh, Give it a bit of a plug. Am Camp Kids. It's basically women with us, which is Am Camp Kids. Yeah. And and have you have you do you tend to raise a lot of money for them? I've done quite a few char uh, through fundraisers, yeah. fundraising things for Ben and the okay. team. So we're seeing you now. Can you just talk us through where where is this and um, what did it feel like? It was it was uh, it was quite tough. It was quite emotional in parts. You had to like breathe heavy to get through it because it was quite it was quite. Uh, hard going some bits. And even on snow then? The snow, yeah, the snow was hard work. The snow was, uh, was quite was quite hard, the snow. You, had to, you, 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 you go in there, you'd be sliding down a bit, and you go a bit further, and you slide down a bit, because it's quite steep going up. I mean, you're very modest. It was yeah. quite hard. I <laughs> yeah. imagine it was a bit more than quite yeah, hard. Yeah, it was tough, yeah. It was tough going, yeah. It was very tough. And um, what is it like? Uh, I know you've done other um, hikes, haven't yeah. you? Like um, up Snowden? Yeah. Yeah. Th it must be... I mean, it must be quite a shock, I suppose, for people that are seeing you do yeah, this. What was, do yeah. people say to you? Well, just thought I was supportive. You know, so you can do it, carry on. You can, you know, you're, you're doing well. Uh, yeah. good, good walk. You know, they just thought I was all right, supportive on the mountain. You know. And what was the worst part about it? I mean, physically or mentally, would you say? Probably physically or mentally. I think both. Uh, it was mentally tough in parts because you have to keep on going. Yeah. You know, because you get shattered and you're tired and you have to keep on pushing through to get to the summit. And you go up, how long did it take you to get up? About 12 hours it took 12 to go up. Yeah, to, yeah. But then you have to come down again. We do, yeah. We come down. To, we had a, the team went up, we had a great team behind me. So the team went up, or some of the team went up to the, to the lake. Yeah. Pitched the tents up and things like that on, at the lake. So when we got to the summit, we come back down to the lake, which took about four hours, which was hard work. And then we, we slept overnight, and then we came back down in the morning which was horrendous for me because I was really sore and tired. And... Yeah, I bet you just did not want to have to no. do any more after that. <laughs> no. So is that it now? Have you done as much I, as you can I do? I think we're going to go up Scarfell Pike, me and Ben and the team, right. uh, camp team, we're going up Scarfell Pike, probably before August, so we've got all three done in the year. Yeah. All three mountains done in the year. And there's a couple of ways you can go on Scarfell Pike, isn't there? I believe so, yeah. Are well, you going to do, which one are you going to do? I'm not too sure, I think Keir, Nicholson, he'll find out the best route and yeah. then we'll go up that way. I, I suspect talking to you, you're going to, Choose the tricky one, aren't you? Well, probably the easiest one, probably. <laughs> <laughs> that would be very sensible. Just tell us how much money you've raised. Uh, I think we've raised just over uh, £6,000 up to now for, for, for AMP Camp Kids. AMP, AMP Camp, Camp Kids. Kids. Yes, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you so Can much. Can I just say a quick thank you to Cotswold Outdoor as well, who sponsored all the equipment, tents, food. Fantastic. Because you need as much help as you can get. We did, yeah, yeah, yeah it was fantastic. Yeah, it was brilliant. Yeah. Things. Yeah. Paul, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. And uh, um, I'm... Well, it's incredible what you've done. Well okay, done. Thanks very much, Michelle. Thank I, you. I can just say thank you to all those who have donated as well. They've been fantastic. All yeah, of course. Yeah, you thank can't you. do it without the donations. No, you can't. No, been brilliant. brilliant. Thank, thank you. Very much. you. Thank you. Uh, it really is incredible, isn't it? Uh, well done to Paul. Right. Let's